Running topology optimization to create lightweight components can be challenging as the parts become more complex, making it hard for traditional manufacturing methods like metal casting and injection molding to be used to create the part. The good news is topology optimization isn't just for additive manufacturing. In NTOP, we've introduced new constraints that can help you reduce the mass of parts that need to be cast or molded. Hello everyone, Yuki from NTOP, and today I'm excited to guide you through topology optimization using our new demolding constraint. This technique enables you to reduce the mass of cast or injection molded parts, preventing undercuts and cavities that can hamper the manufacturability of your design. Let's dive right in. To start, I can import my CAD file and convert it into an implicit. I'm running a topology optimization on an engine bracket. To set it up, I can mesh my CAD part and set up my boundary conditions. I can then add my mesh and load cases into my topology optimization. Now let's take a look at the constraints for the top op. I have my volume fraction constraint, which tells the optimization how much material should be removed from the original. And the passive constraint defines what regions are not to be optimized during the optimization process. But let's focus on our last constraint, the demolding constraint. This constraint ensures no undercuts in the optimized result, enabling the release of the mold in the specified demold direction. And we have three inputs in this constraint, the demold direction, the auto split surface, and the region. The demold direction allows us to specify the mold pull direction. With the demold direction defined for this example, we'll have it pull from the Z direction and the auto split surface unchecked. The resulting part will assume a single draw mold and give us a topology optimized part demoldable in the positive Z direction. Now suppose we have the demold direction defined and the auto split surface checked this time. In that case, the optimization result in a part intended for a split mold manufacturing process, where the mold splitting surface will be optimized during the top op. From this result, we'll get an optimized part to pull from the positive and negative Z direction. Now the last input, the region, is optional. You can define the region where the demold constraint is applied. When left blank, the constraint will be applied to the entire model. And this input is really useful if you want to define your own parting surface. One example might be a cavity feature that would be made using an internal core if sandblasted, which we want to keep the same when running the top op. Now that the mesh, boundary condition, and the constraints are complete, you can run your topology optimization. And once you get your final result, you can go to the slider located on the bottom right and scroll through the threshold that works best for your assembly. Now once you have your threshold in mind, you can convert your topology optimized result into an implicit body and smoothen it to remove the rough edges and get your final part. Now, before we export this, we can use our new add draft block, which applies a draft angle to our part. We must mesh our final part and fill out the block's inputs. And then you can input the demolding direction and how much of a draft angle you want for your part. To wrap it up, you can export your part by either using the mesh from the add draft block or converting it back to an implicit and using our CAD body from implicit body block to export it out as a CAD. With NTOP's topology optimization, you can reduce the weight of your part while considering the manufacturing constraints, generating components with no undercuts in the optimized result that are ready to be cast or injection molded. And this makes topology optimization a useful tool beyond additive manufacturing. I hope you got a good understanding of how you can use NTOP's topology optimization to design lighter cast and injection molded parts. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today. If a process like this would help improve your design workflow, request a demo and talk to an NTOP expert. If you want to learn more about lightweighting in NTOP, check out our lightweighting page here. And if you want to learn more about how you can run a topology optimization with a demold constraint, check out our support article here. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, go to ntop.com under resources and videos. Check out our videos here. Thank you.